Harley tries to cut off Big Pony. Pony wins the tap. Tapped again by the Revos. And the ball looks like it's going to go out of bounds on the other side, but no, it doesn't. It gets kept held back in by the Crows. Good tackle on the Revos though. He had no prior opportunity yet. He's been pinged for holding for too high. And number 22 is going to take a free kick for the Crows on the outer side. Kicks it down towards the big fella, Kenrick Tyrell. He can't take the mark. Tries to follow up now. His teammate is grabbed as soon as he gets the footy. It's Boise. And it's going to be another throw in. Good pony up it. No, it's not pony going up for this one. 19 is taking the ruck against Kenrick. Jack O'Dell now trying to run onto the footy, trying to get around onto his right foot. Kicks the ball uh, out of bounds into the bushes. And we'll get a free kick for the Crows. Most players are down in the Crows forward line at the moment. <coughs> About half, five, half a dozen players back here. On the uh, <coughs> centre square for the Crows. Kenrick's kicked in towards the goal here. He's kicked it bloody close, and the Crows boys are happy. And that's a goal. That's a hell of a kick against the wind. Actually, no, he's going with the wind. But he's blown across on an angle to where he was. Let's just see how both teams are uh, setting up here. As I said earlier, I think there's an extra player. Whereas Mitchell doesn't have a man here at the moment, although uh, Bobby Sears is coming back. There's a player listed in number 22. So does not have an opponent. So we should have an extra down in the back line for the Revos. But I cannot find him. Sears gets a handball out. Jack O'Dell runs on the ball. This time he's on his proper side, but he gets a handball down. Diesel now is trying to fight for the ball as it goes out of bounds. We get a throw in now. Harley up against Payne. Rest of the way that ball comes out of Bobby Sears. He's tackled straight away from Kingy. Going on to the right hand side there. So he gets tackled straight away as he comes, tries to get out of the back. Jack O'Dell throws himself in there. Probably unlucky not to get a free kick for too high. Frenchie, this is your ball! ball. Oh, yeah. Harley gets that tap out down to the back there. To the 22. He's the loose man for the Crows. That's it. Nice kick as he finds Boise on the outer on the outer side. He tries to kick the ball out further downfield. And the ball is going to run out of bounds again. And we'll get another throw in. Ball comes in again. Goes over the out to the side. No one really in the right position for that. Revo player gets a handball down. Kicks it off the ground and he's paid the mark. Crows now kick the ball back down. The big fella goes through his hands. Now that looked like a bit high, but Kenrick Tyrell has picked up on the loose ball. He gets the handball out to Nix, but it's too, it's too hot for him. Christian Merritt now tackles one of his Crows teammates. Kick to the ground and we get a uh, ball up straight. Kenrick now up against Pony, he grabs the ball out of the ruck, gets the handball out the back to, to the big fella Harley, but he can't get the ball. Pony has followed up pretty well here. Um, kick ball kicked back into the wards. Kenrick, he does a little tap down of his rover in front of him, front and centre. He's latched onto straight away by Jack O'Dell, and we'll get another ball up. A lot of stoppages here so far in this game. Pony gets the tap out this time. Oh, a nice tap out. Out towards Jesse, I believe that is. He kicks the ball down, straight down, but where's Mitchell on his own? Takes the mark. He's got one in the middle, but he ignores him. Wants to go deeper. Back towards Kenrick. 
The ball comes down over the back. Kenevick's down there at the back. Um, looks like that's incorrect disposal. And the Revos have got a free kick right in the last line of defence. Tries to do a short pass to Bobby Sears, but it's over his head. He's taken a mark though. Well done, Bobby. Kicks up down the line. Dig Harley gathers the ball. Gets a dribble kick. Goes straight to the Revos. Revos now straight back down. And cut off by the Crows with their extra man. <coughs> he looks like he's kicked it out on the full. And the Revos have got a free kick in the back. Half back flank here. Down the line. Contest right in front of us. Kingy's grabbed hold of one of the revos. He hasn't got the footy. Ball gets kicked back down. Bobby Sears gets a handball inside, but it's cut off by a crow. Kenwick Tyrell races onto it, tries to break the tackle, turns around with his right foot, and has slotted it straight through. So we have three goals now to the uh, crows. The revos yet to score. Uh, loose man across the half back line is doing a lot of damage for the Crows. So Revos are having a lot of trouble getting the past him. Let's look at our matchups down here. We've got two and two. Uh, got equal matchups there. Crows. I think the Crows might have got one loose play here for the Revos, number 12. He's about to be picked up. Um, but in the back line there, the Crows definitely have one extra player. So, oh, there's the uh, Revos have their extra player. He's on the wing on the opposite side. So, let's see if they can run it out here. Number eight's got the footy. He's got it down past the extra man. So, let's see what they can do with it. Robbie Ward picks up the ball, gets the handball back inside. Quick little kick, I think, from Bassey that might have been. Smothered. And we get another uh, contest and we'll have another ball up. Oh, well done there, number 34. Breaks out of the pack. Gets around on his right foot. He kicks it down the line and it's gone out of bounds on the full. And it looks like Jay Levec is uh, going to take a centering kick. Kicks it nicely to number 20. Oh, I must have hit him on the half volley. Didn't, Greggy didn't play the mark. And got a free kick to the Crows. Ball looks like it's been marked by Borsi on the outer wing. Kicks it further down the field. Ooh, Big Kendrick cannot pull it in, but he follows up well. Forces the ball out. It comes out to the Revos at the back. Caleb always oh, nearly slipped over. He's run around the ball though, and he's got his kick back down to the wing. Good. It is again intercepted by the extra Crows players. They push a ball, the ball back forward again. This time the Revos are able to regain possession and force it back down the line. But again, it looks like the Crows have got the numbers and they're going to break this, break away with it again. Now a pack is forming. And we're going to get a throw in. Ball gets tossed in. Uh, eludes the Brackman. Harley now gets a decent kick away out of that pack. And Kenrick is uh, well positioned in front of his opponent. Probably just did a little push off at the right moment. And uh, he's taken the mark. He's about 35 metres out straight in front. It shouldn't be any problem for the big fella. Takes just a couple of steps. A little bit of a poke at it. <coughs> Not kicking through the footy. He's resulted in a uh, behind. <coughs> Alright, the Rebos here are gathering at, in a big huddle. 
It's half back. Crows have got a couple of outriders. Being manned up. So, other than that, everybody is playing man on man in the huddle. Greggy has uh, pinned Christian for um, running out of the square. There is no square marked, so a little bit tough for Christian. He was well outside it, but um, it is a bit hard <laughs> to know you've gone out of the square when it's not marked. Anyway, Greggy bowls it up and Big Pony tries to knock it out of bounds. Well, actually tried to knock it through for a point, I believe. Didn't go out of bounds, got the kick got cleared back down to the halfback flank for the Revos. Another pack is formed and we'll get a, another ball up. Just turn back and try and get the surrounding players in here. Alright, Wears again on his own, but the ball took a long time to come down. Bobby Sears got there in time and got it knocked it away. Well done. But again, Crows have the numbers. And this time the ball comes back. Gets handballed out to Wes Mitchell. He kicks the ball down towards Kenrick. The ball, he gets a bad bounce and it goes over the back. Now the Revos have got the numbers, but the ball <coughs> eludes all of them. Goes out of bounds again for yet another throw in. Ball gets thrown in. Comes out the back to a crow. He can't hold on to it. Kenrick gets a uh, quick snap on goal. It's on his left foot and has gone to the left. And we will get a, a for another behind to the Crows. We have completely dominated play so far this quarter. I don't think the ball has been past the uh, Revo's half forward line. Christian, mate, this, what can he do this time? This time he kicks, in out, kicks it out to his outrider, who is uh, 20 metres on his own. He plays on straight away, has a tough on the ground. Probably should have kicked it before he took the bounce. But he's done a nice, kicked it down nicely, and Robbie Waters taking a nice mark. He's getting pushed back off the mark a little bit quicker there, Robbie. Not much of a kick. Goes straight to a number of Crows players. They've got the numbers out the back here. They can get it out, but they can't knock it out. Eventually it does come out, and the Crows with the numbers are going to run this one around. We switch, it, switch the play to the other side. Wes now gets a kick downfield. Now the Revos have the numbers here. Nice little handball from number 11 over to uh, Christian. Takes on two, gets a handball away. Now we've got numbers again for the Revos. Can they keep keep the run and carry going? Jay Levesque gets the ball, gets it onto his left foot. Gets a great little bounce. Oh, I don't think he had control. So if he didn't have control, you can't be holding on to him and throwing him like that. So. Been unlucky not to get a free kick, little number one for the Revos. As the Crows now, and they've got the numbers. They're going to run it out now. Again, Wes Mitchell's got the ball. He kicks the ball down, but he's kicked it straight back to the Revos. And number 17 now has the footy. Kicks it down the line. Short little pass to Christian. Christian Merritt now with the footy. Breeze is definitely starting to pick up and it's probably turned into a three or four goal win. So he does the right thing, keeps the ball low. To the Breeze, but they, yeah, they need to take that option and run it. Instead, he's kicked it to the other side. Bobby Sears takes the mark. He plays on straight away. Gets a handball, but it's intercepted. <laughs> None of his teammates were even close to it. Where's Mitchell ends up with the footy? Tries to handball on number 12. Ball eludes him. Comes out now towards uh, number 12 again, I think that is, at the bottom of that pack. And Greg is going to call another ball up. Ricky Borkart throws it up. Harley ties to tap it behind him. Number 8 gets a kick off the ground. Three Revos and one Crow converge on it. Ball is out of bounds, and we will have another throw in. Ball gets thrown, thrown. 
remaining Christian Merritt gets the ball taken away from him. Could be too high. No, he's going to pull the ball up. Borkart throws the ball up, Big Harley gets a big punch down. Got to go straight to Christian Merritt, he kicks the ball back down for the Revos. Robbie Ward in the right spot, but it gets punched away from him. Down to his Rovers, Big Robbie picks the ball up again. Gets a handball out, just needs to get the handball out to the guy who's finally got it now. He gets the kick down. This is the first forward foray for the Revos. Big Pony goes to ground at the wrong time. Trying to uh, protect the pathway of the ball. Just focus on getting it. Don't worry about the, the tackle. Um, Crows now clear the ball out on the outer wing. And it is gone out of bounds. It was appealing. Looks like Jack Adele appealing for a, on the full. Or a deliberate. Either way, Greg's not falling for it. And we get another throw in. Whereas in our Big Harley wins the tap down again. It looks like... Uh, I can't remember that Crows fella name, but he played very well at the Nationals last year. And he's played very well so far today, had a ton of kicks already. Uh, Trey Levesque picks the footy up, gets a bit of an up and under kick. He's got, oh, his teammate cannot pull in the chest mark. Ball gets kicked down towards Kenrick Tyrell. Hasn't got control of the footy. It gets poleaxed by number 17 and gets the, uh, the rifle free kick. <coughs> they make sure they've got control of the footy before you grab hold of them. That was a bit of an example, too, of a player, the tackler going for the player, not really focused on the ball. Ball's got to be the focus all the time. Henry Tyrell. Kicks down towards the goal. It's not straight. And he snuck it in from behind. And Crows probably move on to about 3 4 22. To the Revos yet to score. Christian's kick comes out towards, um, oh, I've forgotten his name too, the Houston board. Where's um, Mitchell now? As the runner of the tries to stay, keep it in front of Pony. Gets a handball back inside. Revo's intercepted. Number two's just got to get that handball out. Get it out of towards again to the inside. Kicks the ball down now. Um, Jack O'Dell hit the footy hard. Kazzy found a teammate they know. Um, again, cut off by the Crows. They break to the outer side now. Can they get a bit of a run on? A bit of a slow kick down to the wing. Number 40 going to run onto it, but he doesn't get it. Just got to get that out now. Two Rivers on the ground. Greggy calls for a ball up. Oh, that's half time. 